I see what you mean. Hmm. So this is the best trail that I could find in Ely so far. Doesn't look like anybody's ever been on it on a bike. There are signs that show pictures of bicycles, but most of it's just a bunch of sagebrush. So far I don't imagine it's going to get much different. So this is a little better, at least it's dirt road, a little more scenic. This is loop E of the trail system here and it sounds like there's some guys up here using chainsaws, maybe cutting some firewood or something. So we're climbing up a ridge here between kind of a little rock formation. It's kind of loose, kind of steep. And again, no tracks or trails from any other sane person. Okay, it looks like we've reached the summit here. Very beautiful view. I'll uh, try and stop over here and see if I can find a place to take a look at the pretty mountains and the peaks. And it's uh, very, very gorgeous up here on top. There you can kind of see the peak there. Very nice. And we'll have a little bit of downhill here. I think I'm gonna swap out the camera to a different angle and we'll try that. Okay, we've switched out the helmet to a helmet mount. We're gonna see what this downhill's like and uh, see if it makes a little more interesting video. It's really loose, it's kind of gravelly, but we're having a good time.
Very good stuff. Bit of a challenge to figure out where the trail goes. But I think I'm on it, so we'll we'll try this for a little while and see just where we end up. Looks like we're headed into the Black Forest here. A little bit of snow. Not too bad. It's kind of frozen, so we can, for the most part, blast right on through it. Oh, it looks like we got a junction here. I'm going to pull out the map and see what we got. Okay, here's the map. Looks like we're at the junction of E and C. Huh. So I've been, I went up D, came down E, hit C. So I think we want to go to the right here and we'll go down that way. Okay, we're still on loop C. I took the right fork and we're headed downhill. Out slipped out there, that was fun. Anybody that rides with me knows that I like fast, so we're trying to gain some speed here. I'm now on loop F. It appears that there's one track from somebody that came out here on the bike who knows how long ago. Well, at least the trail has a lot of good signs on it. So it's very hard to get lost, if not impossible. Okay, this is the dirt trail loop. A little bit more interesting. A little bit, a uh, little bit more narrow. A little less traveled. The loop is about three and a half to four miles long. So we'll just kind of see how this goes. Hey, I might even be able to get a little air off this hill. Yep. A little bit was right. There wasn't very much there. Anyway, we'll just kind of keep meandering through the trees. This is kind of fun weaving in through the trees here. They made it a little bit more interesting. Kind of steep and weaves back and forth and doesn't look like it's just cleared sagebrush like the stuff in the past. Looks like we got us a climb coming up here. Oh, maybe not. A little bit. There we go. You'd almost call this single track. This is kind of fun. It's always fun to be on a new trail. You really never know what's up around the next bend or what's coming up. So you get the opportunity to explore a little bit, learn a, learn a few things. Boy, this sure doesn't compare to the beautiful Utah single track that we're used to riding. But hey, I'm out in the woods having a great time, seeing some new country, and as they say, it sure beats working. Okay, it looks like we're out of the forest. That's a shame. We we're having a good time. All right, so we gotta close the gate, keep the guys' cows in. That'll be a good thing to do. Okay, there you go, back up the road.
Okay, so the uh, track crosses the highway here. I'm sure these people must think I'm nuts. I think I'm nuts. Well, and there we are, trailhead. Back to where we began.